Hey guys, welcome to the offering website. How are you doing? Uh, really hungover, but fine. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not hungover. Are you fine? No. Okay. Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, your seventh album, Umalt and Haika, has been released uh, last April uh, via Century Media. Uh, what can you tell about its genesis and lyrics? Well, the genesis was very long. It took quite a few years just to find the right uh, combination of elements and and the music itself. It took a long time to come up with. We have we had a lot of material that at some point we did completely completely because we just weren't satisfied with the result. And then we started all over again. And there are many well family stuff and things happening during these five years that we we were kind of writing the music so it that's one of the reasons why it took so long kind of yeah <laughs> yeah I, th I think we wrote the material for one year or something uh, before we found out that it's it's not just the, the type of material we want yeah. to write as the new Musa album so uh, luckily we hadn't written complete album or anything uh, before we decided that we're just gonna start all over again yeah. And, uh, yeah that was the main delay I think but the concept was there since 2011 I think yes. we already on a tour after the previous album we we had the main theme of the album but yeah. it just took a long time to put it together <laughs> When some uh, some music is good, take always more time. It's not easy that the music, the good music, uh, came up so fast. I think it, it, it always uh, it takes more time than the previous album. Just gets slower and slower all the time. And uh, I think it's not because we only want to write good music, uh, but it's because we want to write. Uh, the next Monsoro album. Yeah. And it, uh, the material, it's not enough if it's good. It has to fit the type of music we want to create at that particular time. Yeah. We're really uh, picky. <laughs> yeah, but when things happen, they, when things are really rolling, then it's pretty fast. But this time we, we tried every single option of how do we go out of this reef and this part and we had like million options and we tried all of them so <laughs> that, that's one of the reasons yeah. it took such a great amount of time yeah so from your uh, album has been released uh, a video clip uh, what can you tell about uh, it whose idea was it um, I can't remember well the idea of making a video came from our management actually we we, we didn't want to record make, I yeah either uh, we didn't want to make any music video um, but for some long time already we thought that, okay if, if there's one way to make video for our, our music it should be animation but usually animation is very difficult very time and money consuming yeah. and it's very hard to say if, if you hire somebody if it's gonna work or not yeah. and this time we'll we took the chance and it turned out great. Who is the artist uh, that did? Well, you know more about uh, it. It's a Serbian company okay. called iCode. Uh, we didn't know much about them before this. We got some uh, reference clips uh, from them and from other companies. And we were basically just checking out the reference clips and uh, we uh, were deciding uh, which style we liked the most. So we chose them and uh, when they started working and I flew over to do my spectacular acting parts, <laughs> uh, I met the guys and I was really impressed by the, the working ethics and the uh, uh, artistic drive they had. So it was definitely the right choice. I think it's really a good video particular yeah. and different from other ones uh, yeah. it, it works yeah so uh, 
What can you tell about the Monsorro documentary, Home of the Wind? Do you know when it should be released? No. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> uh, not exactly. I think it should be it's, ready it's by the end of the year. It's more or less shot now. Yeah. It should be edited by the end of the year, but I, I don't know if, if it's going to be released in January or February. But okay. We will wait to see. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be really interesting. It, yeah. it has a lot of small, interesting details about the band. That's cool. Especially in Marco's interviews. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea about that. <laughs> he doesn't know how to hold himself. Okay, even better. <laughs> <laughs> so, now it's 20 years of, of Monsorro. Uh, looking back in uh, 1995, uh, did you ever think you would still be together and doing this? Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't really claim that it was my childhood dream or anything. But at some point I realized that I just want to keep on doing this until I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> because uh, it's really been fun and we have really uh, made stuff that matters to me. Yeah personally and on an artistic level it's it's just been a very uh, eventful journey yeah it, it is definitely something that you you will remember for the rest of your life in in in, in the case that you are not in the band anymore in, in your 80s or something yeah you're fired yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i think it changed us all in a way we would be a very different as people without the band, I, sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure about it. And also, when you start, when you join the band, you have no idea when it's gonna yeah. end. It's just fun and love for the music at the start, yeah. uh, and you don't know what we, we could happen in the future. No. Yeah, I, I don't think we ever made any serious business plans or anything. Yeah. No, we, we actually, just want to keep on doing this. Yeah, we actually hate it. And yeah. We still hate all the these plans. Thing. We would never make a plan of. Uh, Okay, where, where we should be in five years or something. Yeah. We never pushed the band up until a few years ago when things are more professional now, but we, we always went to play shows when we are demanded, when we, we are asked to play. We didn't go and pay money to go get on tours and to go somewhere just to promote the band. It, yeah. it always came from outside and this demand, so in that way it's very honest and we are very like... Yeah, we can appreciate good. everything we have done. Yeah. So, uh, your music is the finest uh, pagan metal, but uh, where Monsoro roots its influence? Well, it's it's all over the place, from <laughs> black metal, very big influence. Yeah, black metal is the only thing that uh, connects all of the members, okay. I think. Yeah, but there are a lot of other inf influences as well. Of course. Yeah, progressive rock also and folk music. Yeah. Traditional Scandinavian music is it's <laughs> in, in in every every album it can it's yeah. one of the most important elements. Although it can be diminished into something very small, but it but still it, it's important. You couldn't take that out from Moonsoro. So, uh, now you are playing around the Europe, but what's the plan for the future? And we don't have plans. In the future, <laughs> or uh, you will see what happens. <laughs> there are always some things that we are n negotiating with. Like it could be tour, tour in America. It could be tour somewhere else. Yeah. But so far, we only know the shows that being announced right now, like the seventy tons of metal cruise, for example. Yeah. 70 tons of metal. 70,000 <laughs> tons of metal, okay. 70 tons would be very small. <laughs> like truck. Size of, yeah, like size of a truck. <laughs> we try to sail <laughs> after <laughs> behind this boat. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we have done with this interview. Thank you so much for your time. You. Uh, would you like to say something to your fans? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up.